Welcome and good evening all. I'm your host with the most, Mr. Ramsey. And tonight I present you with episode 6 of 52 Sentence Horror Stories from Reddit. As always, there are a mixture from the subreddit and you guys in the comment section from previous episodes. So let's hear your two sentence stories below and see if they can make the cut for episode 7. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Truth be told, I didn't divorce my husband because of the countless photos of his mistresses, tits I found in the phone. I divorced him because they weren't attached to a body. I was furious when I found out my daughter is a drug addict. I immediately took the drugs away and grounded her. Doesn't she know there's no such thing as depression and you can find happiness in Jesus? I was devastated when my beautiful niece was chosen as the harvest's virgin sacrifice. I fucking doomed us all. I've always had the supernatural ability to know where someone was by looking at a photo of them. So it pained me to tell the mother of a missing child that her daughter was in several different places. I shined my flashlight over the cabinet of porcelain dolls, their pupils contracted. I stupidly flailed my arms around after the gunman declared, Anyone move and I shoot. It was only after I watched two bullets rip through the little girl next to me that I realised he never specified who. I'm new to this sub and I have a question about it. Why is the sub getting filled with water? My therapist assured me that short term memory loss is normal after a family member dies. But if I don't remember where I had the murder weapon soon, there's a chance the police may find it before me. Immortality was such an amazing gift, it seems so unreal sometimes. Yet the pain and the agony as my skin was torn off was real, just like the sound of the serial killer's voice in my ears. Why won't you fucking die? Do it. Do it. I whispered. Man, I love working on a suicide hotline. I missed the days where I would fall asleep on the couch and my parents would carry me to my bedroom. But after they informed me that they thought I had got up and gone to bed on my own, I have different feelings about it now. The teacher looked confused as the children motioned frantically about the man crawling out the closet behind her. Too bad she muted all the kids so they wouldn't talk over her story. My son's suicide letter pins all the blame on his girlfriend. With this letter in my safe possession, she can no longer escape my advances. I can't believe we're not taking climate change seriously, that they forget what we left in the ice caps. It's not true that your pet cat will eat your face off when you're dead if they are hungry enough. As I lay on the kitchen floor paralysed after a fall, my recently fed feline didn't even wait until I was dead. After all these years, I successfully time travelled back to 1999 and now I can live out my childhood again without worrying about 2020 for another 21 years. Unfortunately, I came back as an adult and landed right on top of when used to be my infant self. When I found the legendary Fountain of Youth, I couldn't control myself and jumped in immediately. The results were instant, but the liquid soon filled my lungs as my body lost its coordination and I was unable to get myself out before everything went black. I finally mustered up the courage to tell my wife about my necrophilia fetish. Her look of shock slowly turned to horror as I tightened the belt around her neck. I just wanted to thank those of you that sort by new. You'll be the first to go and now you'll help me reach the others. I squeezed my three-year-old daughter's hand as I pointed out the anthill on the sidewalk. I had to make sure she didn't notice that the shooting star she pointed out earlier was getting eerily bigger. My ex just called and asked if she can sleep at my place because a stalker has been coming to her house at night. So nice for her to save me the gas money. 
I had strengthened my scepticism when the terrified fortune teller had told me I would die in a plane crash within a week, as I knew I wasn't travelling anywhere. But as the smouldering wreckage of the doomed Flight 643 started to rain down around me in my yard, I realised sadly that she really did have the gift. Dressed in white with her long blonde hair hanging in a plait behind her, the little girl walked meekly between her two captors. The demon child was hard pressed not to giggle at the fact the cult member thought she was a sacrifice. The two brothers looked at each other in horror as their radio picked up the words. I'm attempting to re-enter. It's so hot, it's so hot. The official government statement released five days later simply said, Unmanned satellite crashed in field. When angels commit an unforgiven sin, they are banished for eternal paradise and reborn into a life of misery and suffering. And we wonder why babies are born screaming. I've never understood why people are scared of the dark. Just turn on the light and get used to me. When I heard the screams, I ran outside to find my elderly dog in a puddle of blood and my wife consoling my son. I heard him say something about the dog attacking him first, but I saw a little smirk on his face and he didn't even have a scratch on him. She was so beautiful in her stark white gown. It's too bad she had to die so young. Tears roll down my cheeks as my husband goes deeper. The creature dragged my kid down a hole so small. The more we dig, the more blood we see. I've always hated my husband for kidnapping me. Yet I couldn't help but to be just a little excited to go and get our new daughter. I don't know what scared me more whether it was hearing a voice saying help me at four in the morning, or that I recognised it was my own voice and it was coming from the closet. Please let us in, mummy. We really want to go home, my children begged. Chained to the wall, tears flow down my face and blood flows down my legs as they attempted to dig their way back into my uterus. Having been enslaved, tortured and scarred for generations, they suddenly found the strength to free themselves. The old farmer made it halfway across the field before being shredded and whipped into a frothy pulp by the baleful hay. This morning I found a note in my own handwriting dated nine months in the future. You suffer short term memory loss and you are suing the surgeon who caused this by operating on the wrong side of your brain. Check your diary under the bed. Time seemed to slow to a crawl as our eyes met mine. The sharp crack of the window screen breaking brought me back into my senses before her body disappeared over the car. Many thought that my ability to talk to animals was a blessing, but as I tried to tune out the terrified screams of hundreds of flies begging spiders for their lives, I begged to differ. My brother lost his short-term memory in the crash that killed his family. Every day he finds out from me that his wife and child are dead, and it feels better every time I do it. When they told me they had the technology to bring people back from the dead, I thought they were going to revive that poor girl I hit with my car. I have been executed 473 times, and I wish they would just let me stay dead. When I woke up and couldn't see anything, I thought I had gone blind in my sleep. But when I felt the slight sticky liquid on my face and accidentally put my finger in an empty eye socket, I realised it was oh so much worse. Oh honey, it's normal for skin to peel after sunburn, Martin reassured. I just don't think the muscles are supposed to peel off as well. I put on the creepy old hand puppet I found at the antique store, hoping to scare my little brother. It worked beautifully but now I can't seem to get this stupid thing off and my brother won't stop screaming. Management was so disappointed in our team when we had to reset our accident counter to zero days accident free. Only Sam and I know it was no accident and he's not telling anyone. I went to the bedside of my dying grandfather 
where he looked at me, visibly in pain, and asked to shake my hand one last time after reciting his favourite prayer. When I woke up, I was looking at myself, recognising my grandfather's grin on my own face before he left the room. I was relieved when I realised the strange shadow in my bedroom was merely a pile of wrinkled clothes until I remembered I'd already put my laundry away. Sorry, a hollow voice hissed from the closet. There wasn't enough room for me in here. Tears flowed down my face when I heard my little one say, I love you, Daddy. The kidnapper then tore the phone away from him and hung it up and I knew I'd never see him again. I confronted my preschool aged daughter after she dreamed that her family hid in the closet under the stairs and burned alive in a fire caused by a tornado. We have never told her that the closet under the stairs is our tornado shelter. With his last breath, my father made me promise to never open a cellar door. But now, I can hear him in a cellar screaming to be let out. When my daughter was little, I told her that no matter how old she got, I'd sing her a lullaby over the phone any time she was scared. I struggled to keep my voice from breaking as I heard the gunshots growing louder while she stiffed her sobs. When the kidnapper made me guess where he kept my daughter, I went for the basement and he said correct, allowing me to see her. But when I found her severed head in there, I learned that every other choice would have been correct as well. It seems like you've discovered an entirely new type of termite. I felt the terror rise in my chest as the doctor turned around with the x-rays. This also explains the aching you've been feeling in your bones. Thank you all for listening. That does it for tonight's video. However, if you enjoyed, on screen are a couple of 52 sentence horror stories. Um, remember to click subscribe if you're enjoying these, and anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for listening.